Willow Smith doesn't seem to be embarrassed or alarmed. What do you guys She's think? all in. I mean, clearly they have <laughs> talked about stuff like this before, but yeah. I mean, first of all, the whole thing is shocking. Like, so mm. we're having masturbation talks with your grandmother? Yeah. That's just, it sounds scary. Yeah, I don't yeah, mind the fact that she's talking. Your grandmother's only 64. Yeah, but no, it, but she well, taught but her at nine, though. Like, I don't mind the fact that nine? she's talking to her daughter now, that Jada's talking to her daughter now, because she's a young adult. She could talk about it. Right. The problem I have a, a problem with is the fact that her grandmother taught her how to masturbate at nine. I mean, young women aren't, on average, getting their menstrual cycles till they're 12. And so it's like, why even bring a child to that? It's like, let them grow up first. Let them be a kid. They even think about all that stuff. But I think they are thinking about it. So I'm, I'm shocked, and I'm it's a scary thought but at the same time the you know 21st century woman in me is like this it, the, here's the cool side of it yeah, I know it's scary but here's the cool side of it the fact that you're being taught about your body as a woman so much shame comes along with uh, your sexualization and being mm -hmm. a woman and, I, and I, from my experience I can only speak for mine I think it's more in the black community because they always push religion and mm -hmm. what's right morally and what is acceptable and what is uh, clean yeah, like what right. is the right thing to do and I guess it just really depends on where you come from but I feel like in the black community there's so much shame as a woman in terms of what she should do with her body and I, feel I like get this that. is empowering her as a young woman but it's still a scary conversation it's to think about young. at age nine I'm you, sorry it's too young do you for me it's too young? I don't mind Ooh. talking starting the conversation but teaching them about pleasuring themselves at nine come on she's not That's... actually teaching her <laughs> she's like, telling her all about it girl she's you better get you in there in that tub no it's too oh, much <laughs> let me show you how to stimulate so, girl. Okay, no, it's so too she much. was saying it Grandma, wasn't physical. She was just talking about she body her what parts. it is and, and like <laughs> okay. I think what an orgasm is. But and she I got think, addicted okay, to that's it. She talked to about that too. So. See, I I'm think that kids scary. are actually um, like exploring themselves at a younger age than we all like to okay. think they are. And so better to have the knowledge than to not. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. I too young. Know. All right, Grandma, D calm it down. Different philosophies, right? Grandma. It really <laughs> is. It really is. Oh, that's sad. I How think many it's real friends low. do you have? Maybe four. Four. I give it four, yeah. But a little <laughs> higher. Those are the people that are your ride or dies. You talk to almost every day. You can tell them anything about your life, and they're going to be for, there for you. If you're in an emergency, you can call them, and they're going to be there. How that's often a real do friend. you talk to your best friend? Uh, probably every day. Probably really? So. Yeah, every day. Every, like, that's if often. I'm not crazy, or if, if it's not like busy time, okay. like while I'm traveling, I haven't really sp spoken to him since I've been in Chicago, but normally. Every I'm day. shocked at your response yeah. for a guy. That's yeah. often. But you know what? Now that I'm thinking about I think my husband talks to his best friend every day, too. Yeah. And we don't really even nice. nearly, usually it's about working out or why we're mad at our <laughs> wives. You won't believe what she said. I right? had a conversation <laughs> about silly nonsense. Yeah, nothing really deep or anything. Do you think that social media has changed this? Like, I feel like. Mm -hmm. It's maybe mm -hmm. widened our net, but also um, lessened our real friends. Yeah. It screwed us up. I feel like I have a couple friends where we would be closer, but because they see me on social every day, I don't hear from them. <laughs> Another thing is I think the quality of the relationship has been diminished because you don't have that personal interaction with yes. all your friends. You're like, oh, I'm texting or I'm talking. You're not like, hey, let's get together for lunch. Let's get together for dinner and just quality hang time. out. Yeah, I think it's quality, quality over quantity people should be focusing on, but social media has ruined that. Yeah. I, feel, I feel like I never... <laughs> spoke to my close friends often but I spoke to them with like real good conversations like mm. I made a chance because I've lived in several different places around the country and yeah. so like I always made a chance uh, an opportunity to like speak to them mm. and like take out a good 30 45 mm -hmm. minutes to have a good conversation with them. and you know a real friend because regardless of how much time has passed you can pick up just like that yes. like nothing ever happened it's like yes. oh, what's up? I got a couple that's of a real friend yeah. I'm gonna challenge that. everybody to go ahead and connect with their friends this week and actually try to meet up with them Ugh. for some face-to-face -face friend give time. Don't us homework, Shannon. I know, Stop. she's like, more All right, work. So I'm Shannon, sad. here we go. So you okay. were on yesterday, and we had a lot of people say that you look like President <laughs> Obama. Yeah, I actually get that and a look lot. look at this. Look, look, look. We got oh. a picture of you and your family. They're present. Right. You're Obama's cousin. Oh, my God. We dressed up like them for Halloween. And except for <laughs> we have a secret surface guy on the end, a little extra kid there. Oh That's really funny. Oh, my God. I know, goodness, those extra kids. What do you do with I them? I know. I tell you. But, yeah, I'll take it. If I get Obama, it's better than some homeless guy on the street, so I'll take it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever met him? Yeah, yeah. I met him in an interview when he was running for office and everything. And so Very I've been cool. to the White House a few times doing My Brother's Keeper mm -hmm. and the egg roll and different things. So we keep, like, bumping into each other, so I'm all for it. You just run into Say, Hey, bro. Yeah. Hey, bro. My boy, Brock. Did you he know. recognize the likeness when he saw you? Did he no, say anything? No, no, nobody said anything. Yeah. Can you do a Barack Obama impression? Oh, my American people. 
Uh, this is a ton. No, <laughs> that was pretty good. I don't know if that was good, but I <laughs> That was really good. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll work on it. I'll work on it. He's done it before. It. He pulled right. that out his head. Right. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to uh, be him in the movie when it comes oh, out. So, Mr. I'm auditioning right now. No. DJ Mike, he's playing you some presidential music for you. You have to you. go visit his um, his old house in Hyde Park. I know. I'm gonna go stay there for the night. You know. Okay, perfect. Chill out since we're boys and all. You know. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am just thoroughly impressed, oh, Mr. Gosh. President. Thank so you. <laughs>